Good morning children, I'm teacher KB back again in Gabriel Sunday School online lesson. Today I'll be teaching on a very special topic called Our Father. Alright? So, why this lesson? Many children might be thinking or might have already know the answer. But anyway, a month ago, if you could recall, we celebrated Mother's Day, right? So today, we will be celebrating Father's Day. As you could know, it's a very important day because being a dad is just as important as being a mom. Daddy has to go out to work and then come back home late and sustain the family, right? So, why? As I have spoken, just on the previous slide, Dad shared the responsibility of providing a nice home for us. And also, Daddy reads bedtime story for us, even though he comes home very late at night and very tired. Also, Dad is always there when we get into trouble. Although he might scold us, but he's always there for us because he loves us. So, the fact is, that bears an extra burden because he is the one Bible used to teach us how God loves us. The Bible called God our Heavenly Father. Today we shall read just what kind of a father our God really is. Shall we start? Our Heavenly Father is a loving Father. As John chapter 3 verse 16 states, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believed in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Children, you remember? God 
loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus, to redeem our sin. From this, we know that God really loved us so much by giving his only son to die for us. Now, our Heavenly Father is also a forgiving Father. Daniel chapter 9 verse 9 To the Lord our God belongs compassion and forgiveness, for we have rebelled against Him. No matter how much we are rebellious, God always has compassion and will always forgive us so long as we repent of our sin. Our Heavenly Father will never leave us alone. Joshua chapter 1 verse 5 stated, No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life, just as I have been with Moses. I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. This is a very powerful and wonderful verse that Teacher KB slides. I will never fail you or forsake you, even in times of troubles or difficulties. Our Heavenly Father is also our helper. Hebrew chapter 13 verse 6 stated, So that we confidently said, The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid what will men do to me. There's nothing impossible for God, cause God is almighty and he will always help us through. As in the next slide, our Heavenly Father, he's almighty, he's very, very powerful. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27 stated, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too difficult for me? Yes, there's nothing difficult for God. So, in summary, our Heavenly Father is a loving Father, a forgiving Father, a Father that never forsake or leave us, a Father that help us always, an Almighty Father, a powerful Father. Isn't that great? To have such a father? Yes, it is. So, being a father is a never easy task. Therefore, we want to say thank you, Father God, for being our daddy, right? We should appreciate Heavenly Father for being our Heavenly Father, for being our daddy. Now, children, I would like to share a verse with you and I hope everyone will recite with me before this lesson's end. It's from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 stated, Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Alright? We should always obey our parents for this is only right. Alright? So, happy Father's Day. Children, after this lesson, just go to Daddy and say thank you and happy Father's Day. Alright? Now, let's pray. Father in Heaven, we like to thank you for being our Heavenly Father, for showing so much love and always helping us and never forsake us. And Father, we would like to thank you for this special day, which is Father's Day, for our physical father, for their hard work, and for their love for us and the family. In all this, we give thanks and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Lastly, let's recite the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in his hand heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Bye, children. Children, let us remember to put aside all our offerings for God in an envelope. When we come back to church, we can put everything in the offering basket. Alright, see you children!